pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we receive Jesus, our Lord. He is God's greatest blessing to us. He is our only true treasure. And in Jesus, we are truly rich so that we may become less unworthy to celebrate this Mass. Let us now ask God's forgiveness for all our sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. 
A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Koheleth. Vanity of vanities. All things are vanity. Here is one who has labored with wisdom and knowledge and skill, and yet to another who has not labored over it. He must leave property. This also is vanity and a great misfortune. For what profit comes to man from all the toil and anxiety of heart with which he has labored under the sun? All his days, sorrow and grief is his occupation. Even at night, his mind is not at rest. This also is vanity. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning, they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all your days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with Him in glory. 
Put to death, then, the parts of you that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Stop lying to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self which is being renewed for knowledge in the image of its creator. Here, there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is in all and in all. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator. Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though once one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, what shall I do, for I do not have space to store my harvest? And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now, as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for all who store up treasure for themselves, but are not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the man who approached Jesus in today's gospel made a surprising request. He told Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. Guru, sabihan mo nga yung kapatid ko na hatian ako sa aming mana. 
This is a surprising request because of the many things that he could ask from Jesus. He asked about inheritance. He could have asked for healing. He could have asked for salvation. He could have asked for something noble. He could have asked for greater things. Kayuman ang bigyan ng pagkakataon na makausap si Jesus at humiling ng isang bagay kay Jesus. Hindi kahihiling ng simpleng bagay. Hindi kahihiling ng makamundong bagay. Hingin mo na ang iyong kaligtasan. Hingin mo na yung malalaking bagay at dakilang bagay. But this man, who was given the opportunity to talk to Jesus, asked for something so mundane, so earthly. He asked Jesus about inheritance. Sa lahat naman ng pwedeng hilingin kay Jesus, yun pang isang bagay na tungkol lamang sa mundong ito. Mana, kayamanan. And so Jesus, in order to reply to that request, narrated a parable. And the title of the parable of Jesus in today's gospel is the parable of the rich fool ang talinghaga ng mayamang hangal take note my dear brothers and sisters the person is rich but he is a fool it warns us that one could be rich and still be a fool. Pwede pala yun na ikaw ay mayaman, pero ikaw ay hangal. Dahil itinuturo sa atin Jesus ngayon na ang sobrang kayamanan ay maaring mauwi sa kahangalan. That riches could lead to foolishness. And how could riches lead to foolish, foolishness? First, riches could lead us to foolish, foolishness because riches could make us focus so much on ourselves. Ang kayamanan ay pwedeng maging kahangalan dahil ang kayamanan maari tayong ituon lamang ang ating buhay sa ating sarili. Dahil sa kayamanan, baka sabihin natin, wala nang ibang mahalaga kundi ako. And that is what happened to the man in the parable of Jesus. He had so many things and he started talking to himself. Ang dami na niyang mga ari-arian, sobra-sobra na ang kanyang kayamanan, at bigla siyang nagmonolog. And take note of the, prep of the pronouns he used in his monolog. He said, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, now, as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and be merry. 
kinausap niya ang kanyang sarili. Siguro dahil wala siyang ibang makausap. Ang dami-dami niyang kayamanan, nag-uumapaw ang kanyang ari-arian, pero sarili lang niya ang kaya niyang kausapin. Wala siyang ibang makausap. Ang yaman-yaman, pero walang makausap. Isn't that foolishness? And when he started talking to himself, he just refers always to himself. The pronouns he used in his monologue referred only to himself. Puro sarili lamang. Sa akin, ako, akin. And in the midst of his abundance, sharing his goods did not even cross his mind. Na problema kasi siya. Ang dami-dami na niyang ari-arian at wala na siyang mapaglagyan. Tingnan niyo mga minamahal na kapatid, kung problema yung kulang ka sa pera at ari-arian, pag sobra-sobra din pala, namumroblema ka. Kung kulang ang yung kita, problema. Pero kapag sobra-sobra ang kita, problema din pala. Namuproblema yung tao sa talinghaga ni Jesus dahil madami na siyang ari-arian at wala na siyang lugar na papaglagyan. And what was his solution? He did not think of sharing them with others. He did not say, oh anyway, I have so much, I have things for the future for myself, maybe I could just share some with others who are in need. That was not his solution. His solution was to tear down his barns and build larger ones. Magtayo pa ng mas maraming mapag-iimbakan ng kanyang kayamanan. Ano ba naman yung sabihin niya? Eh, okay na naman ako. Madami na naman akong naipon. Siguro pwede na akong magbahagi. Pero hindi man lang yun sumagi sa kanyang isip. Ang solusyon niya sa kanyang problema, magtayo ng mas maraming mapaglalagyan pa. I remember the saying, When God gives you more than what you need, build longer tables, not higher walls. Kapag binigyan ka ng Diyos ng sobra-sobra, magbahagi ka. Huwag mong angkinin ang lahat. Yung hindi mo na kailangan, ibahagi mo sa iba. Riches can make us fools because they make us focus only on ourselves. Ako lang ang mahalaga. But riches can also make us fools because it makes us focus only on this world. Hindi lamang yung ako lang ang mahalaga pero sinasabi rin ng isang nagiging hangal dahil sa kayamanan, ang mahalaga lang ay ang mundong ito. Riches could make us short-sighted, could give us a limited view. We could only see the good things of this world and we forget that there is life after this world. Kapag nakatuon na tayong masyado sa kayamanan ng mundong ito, baka makalimutan natin na ang buhay natin sa mundong ito ay panandalian lamang at tayo'y tutungo rin isang araw sa ating tunay na tahanan. 
That is also the foolishness of the man in Jesus' parable. He enjoyed his life so much on earth that he forgot heaven. That is why God told him, You fool! This night, your life will be demanded of you. And the things that you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Sinabi ng Diyos sa kanya, Hangal! Mamayang gabi, mamamatay ka na. Aanhin mo ngayon yung marami mong ari-arian. That is why the book of Ecclesiastes in our first reading today tells us, Vanity of vanities. Life is vanity. Life on earth becomes a vanity if you only think of this world. Trabaho ka ng trabaho, ipon ka ng ipon, nagpapayaman ka, pero iiwanan mo rin lang naman yan. At ang mag enjoy dyan ay yung mga hindi naman pinagpawisan sa pagtatrabaho para sa mga yan. Life is vanity. My dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus warns us, be careful of earthly riches because they can make you fools. They can make you so focused on yourself and so focused on the world that you totally forget other people and God. Jesus tells us in the Gospel, the one may be rich, One's life does not consist of possessions. And if one's life does not consist of possessions, what should our life be consist of? St. Paul answers this in our second reading. St. Paul tells us, Think of what is above, not above what is of earth for your life is hidden with Christ in God that is what our life should consist of God that is why Jesus also tells us be rich not only in what matters in, in what matters to this world but be rich in what matters to God. Maging mayaman hindi lamang sa mga bagay ng mundong ito, maging mayaman sa mga bagay ng makadiyos. My dear brothers and sisters, are you rich? Mayaman ba kayo? At ano ang inyong kayamanan? Mayaman ba tayo sa mga bagay sa mundong ito? O mayaman ba tayo sa mga bagay ng Diyos? Nakakalungkot na sa panahon natin ngayon, masyado na tayong nakatuon sa mga bagay ng mundong ito. Pera, kayamanan, kapangyarihan, kasikatan, yan ang ating mga concerns. Yan din ang ating mga pinag-aawayan. Yan ang dahilan ng pagsisiraan. Yan din ang dahilan ng pagpapatayan. Look how riches could make us fools. Sana maging mayaman tayo sa mga bagay na makadiyos. Sana maging mayaman tayo sa mga bagay na magdadala sa atin sa langit. Today is also the feast of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus. And one of his famous prayers is the Suscipe, 
about giving everything to the Lord. His prayer is some, something that we sing very often at Mass. Take and receive, O Lord. With St. Ignatius, we could also say, Only your grace and your love, Lord, are enough for me. Give me only your grace and your love, and I will be truly rich, and all else I could forego. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God is our refuge and strength, caring for us from morning to the evening of our days. But He calls us to be responsible. Let us be attentive as we pray together today. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the continuing witness of those consecrated to God in the religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a just sharing of food among all nations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people caught in unlawful and sinful ways may seek forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For irresponsible and greedy people who risk their souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For wisdom to see through the vain and foolish things that clutter our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the blessed dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Holy Lord and Father, may, you fa may your favor be upon us as you receive the prayers we make. Turn our thoughts from the things of earth as we celebrate these sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Upon the request of our bishops, our collection for this Mass will be given to our brothers and sisters who were affected by the recent earthquake, especially in the provinces of the North. Let us be generous in helping them.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son. By whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Ignatius of Loyola and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you, you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. A company with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing, never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Today, the last Sunday of July, is also Phil Mission Sunday. We are made aware of the efforts of our Philippine Church to send our fellow Filipino lay people and priests and religious to other places in the country and all over the world to be missionaries. And so let us listen to the sharing of our brother from the Mission Society of the Philippines. Isang mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ako po si Frater Danico C. Galinato ng Mission Society of the Philippines. Kasama ko po ang aming mga mission partners, ang Phil Mission Auxiliary Association. Ngayong linggo po ay ipinagdiriwang natin ang Filipino Mission Sunday. Ito po ang linggo na kung saan tayo ay inaanyayahan na makibahagi sa gawaing pangmisyon ng ating inang simbahan. Ito rin ang araw na kung saan ating inaalala ang ating mga paring misyonero, lalong higit ang mga kasapi ng Mission Society of the Philippines o MSP. Ang MSP po ay isang samahan ng Pilipinong paring misyonero na itinatag ng CBCP o ang Catholic, Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines noong 1965 bilang tanda ng ating pasasalamat sa biyaya ng pananampalatayang ating tinanggap mula sa mga unang misyonero na pumunta sa ating bansa. Ang MSP po, ang Official Missionary Arm of the Catholic Church of the Philippines. Atin po ito. Kung noon po tayo ay tumatanggap ng mga misyonero, ngayon po ay tayo na ang nagpapadala. Ika nga nila, we are gifted to give. Sa bisa ng ating binyag, tayo po ay mga misyonero. Tayo pong lahat. Ngunit hindi po lahat sa atin ay nabibigyan ng pagkakataong makapunta sa ibang bansa upang makapagmisyon. Kaya po tayo ay hinihikayat ng ating simbahan ngayong linggo na maging misyonero nga sa ating sariling pamamaraan to become missionaries in our own little ways. Ngayon po, Paano po tayo makakatulong sa gawaing pangmisyon bilang isang laiko? Una po sa pamamagitan ng pagdarasal at pananalangin. Naniniwala po kami tulad ni Santa Teresita ng Batang Jesus na ang inyong mga panalangin ay nakapagpapalakas sa loob ng ating mga kaparian, lalong higit yaong mga nakakaranas ng kahirapan sa misyon. To tell you the truth po, the other day, isa po sa mga pari namin na nagmimisyon sa kagupatan ng Papua New Guinea ay namatay. Siya po ay si Father Nonoy. Pangalawa po sa pamamagitan ng pagsuporta sa bukasyon, sa katunayan po, kakaunti na lamang ang mga binatang lalaki na tumutugon sa bukasyon ng pagpapari. Kaya po kung kayo ay may kamag-anak na, gusto, na gustong pumasok sa seminaryo kahit graduate na po ng K-12, college graduate o young professional, huwag nating hadlangan 
Sila bagkos atin po silang tulungan at ipagdasal. Pangatlo po ay sa pamamagitan ng pinansyal na tulong. Kung napapansin po ninyo, merong pinamimigay na mga mission envelopes sa inyo. Ang, ang, ang anumang pong tulong na inyong ibibigay, maliit man o malaki, ay makatutulong sa pagpapatuloy ng aming pagmimisyon at pag-aaral sa aming mga seminarista, pagpapadala ng mga misyonero sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Afrika na lang po at, at Antarctica ang hindi pa namin napupuntahan. At sa mga retiradong paring misyonero na nandirito na po sa Pilipinas. Upang kami ay maging ganap nga, no? kami pong mga seminarista, na maging ganap ng misyonero sa hinaharap. Sa pamagitan po ng ating tulong, tayo po ay nakikibahagi sa misyon ni Jesus, ang dakilang misyonero. Hindi po ito aming misyon lamang, kundi ating misyon. Lagi po nating tatandaan, kami po ay inyong mga misyonero. Kami ang pumupunta, kayo ang nagpapadala. Sa ngalan po ng Mission Society of the Philippines, kami po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa ating mahal na rektor at sa inyo pong lahat sa pagtanggap sa amin dito at sa muli, MSP po, mula sa puso, maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat, brother. At uh, sana po ay suportahan natin ng ating mga kapatid na misyonero sa ating simpleng paraan. Uh, nabanggit po ni brother na just the other day, one of their priests assigned in Papua New Guinea passed away. He was only 43 years old. And um, we pray for the work of mission. We support the work of mission. Kung dati po tayo yung pinupuntahan dito para ng mga misyonero para dalhin ng mabuting balita ni Jesus, ngayon po tayo na nagpapadala sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Sabi nga ni Brother, Africa na lang ang hindi natin napupuntahan at yun ang kanilang target. So we ask you to support our missionaries through your prayers by also supporting their vocation and by supporting them financially through your help. Sana po ay magbigay tayo ng tulong. Meron po silang friendship table sa ating paglabas kung saan pwede nating ibigay ang ating mga tulong sa kanila. Maraming salamat din po sa inyong tulong para sa ating mga kapatid na uh, nakaranas na, na, ng lindol at nasira ang kanilang mga simbahan, tahanan at kabuhayan. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong umaga sa pagpunta dito sa Manila Cathedral. Ganun din po sa mga kasama natin sa live streaming, sa iba't ibang mga social media platforms. Ganun din po sa DWIZ, IZTV. Maraming salamat po sa ating staff at uh, servants ng Manila Cathedral at sa nag-provide ng sign language interpretation. Maraming salamat po sa inyong paglilingkod. At nawa ay pagpalain ng Panginoon itong bagong linggo na haharapin nating lahat at tulungan tayong magsikap maging mayaman sa mga mata ng Panginoon. Please stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Salah, usong dari 
sai da mim. 